Hi, I'm Lonnie Johnson. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to show you how to change the shocks on a 2009 Hyundai. Okay, I've got the car jacked up. I've got jack stands under it. And right here is a good reason to always use jack stands. As you can see, I have a bad seal in this jack, so I have to replace it later on. It is leaking a little bit of fluid. Now, if you go inside here where the shock's at, you'll look up and you got two bolts right there and if you look down you have a bolt in the bottom of the shock it's right here it's a 19 millimeter and I'm going to go to right down here to the bottom of the shock and that nut right there is a 19 millimeter I'm going to go ahead and take it off and we'll have to get a wrench on the other side you can also use a three-quarter inch socket on these I try to always use a six-point socket because that way it don't booger up the head of any kind of bolt or nut you're trying to remove. Now these bolts up here are 14 millimeter. You can also use a 9 16 if you don't have a 14 millimeter. Okay, there it is. I can actually push this down with my hand. I'll actually see how strong the new ones are. Now that bottom Nut that we took off, I can go ahead and slide that bolt out from the bottom of this shot and pull it on out. Right there. Now if you're looking for a set of these rear shocks, just go to Amazon. And right here, they're $49.45. And if you need the shocks and the sway bar link, you can pick up all four items for $82.54. Here's the new shocks still in the box. Here's the part number for that shock. It's all bagged up really nice. It's also compressed down and it is a little bit tighter than the than the old one and now I have to remove this and put it on this this cap here should pop right off take a pair of vice grips put it on the shaft and tighten it down because this uh, shock you're not going to use anymore so you don't have to worry about it I'm going to use an 18 millimeter socket, six point, to take this nut off. This should come off, and you have a spacer, so don't lose that spacer. Now this has to be reused. So what you want to do here is just grab this and force it over top of this. Because you're going to have to use it for the new shock. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this boot and this bumper. Just slide it on there. I'm going to have to push it down on here. Now I can go ahead and put my anchor on there like so put the spacer on I'm gonna go ahead and put the nut on and I'm gonna go ahead and put a, this pair of vice grips as close to here as I can get it just like that now I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it down with the impact wrench Put the cap on it and I'll go ahead and install it. I'm going to take this and move it up this way. Try and set it in here and as you can see it's extended pretty good so what I'll do is I'll compress it. I'm going to put the bottom in first. I'm going to put the bolt through it. I'll get the nut started on the bolt but I won't tighten it down yet. Now I'll come in here and I'm going to go ahead and get the top lined up. It's not pulling it down. Get it lined up to go up in there. Got one of them started. You may have to keep pulling this down and letting it get up in there so you can get it lined up. Now they're both started. I'm going to go ahead and tighten them down. Those are good. Now I'll go ahead and tighten the bottom down. Right here is the other bolt. I'm going to tighten it down. There it is. I'll go ahead and go to the other side and I will change the other side. It should be the same as this side. 
Like, comment, subscribe, share with friends. And I want to thank all my subscribers for making my channel possible.